Okay. Oh, it's from the tech rabbit again. I got another set of sensors. I bought another package. Um, I think we'll try and go through this a little bit more systematically this time. The last, the last package I went through, I went through very fast without actually looking at it. I'm really prop. Well, let's see if we can pick out the out the, um, the one at a time and actually um, look at them a little bit more. Anyway, this one I know. This is um, uh, ultrasonic. Basically, it's a um, collision avoidance module. So I've used this on a Raspberry Pi configuration to, and you can establish distance. Sensor. This is a, a soil moisture detector. So you put this in the soil, and then this chip will convert it to a, presumably an analog signal. Let's see if I can look at the pin. The, this package, by the way, didn't come with any documentation whatsoever. It's only the the site that gives you a series of pictures, and they don't even give the name of the sensor. They give you a list of what sensors is included, of course. But they don't give you the names of the. They don't have like a picture and then a name. No. Let's see here. It says A0 and D0 on ground. And. Yeah, that's anybody's guess of what those mean. Since it's an analog amplifier, I'm assuming that the output from this would be an analog signal. Okay, let's see if we can guess another one of these then. So, let's take this one. I know what this one is. This is supposed to be a rain detector. So the water falls on that, and then you have variable resistance. Probably has the same amplifier, I would think. Same culprit LM. Come oh, on, stabilize M LM three nine three. So that's an op app. Oh, so that one I guessed. Okay, next one. Let's see what I can pick up. Take the ones that I know first. Okay, this is a simple radio transmitter and receiver are used on radio controlled um, cars and stuff. Not really sure how many signals you can pass through this. If it's just like one on off signal. So that would actually be good to connect it up and, te <laughs> and test. Well it does say ground and data. So it might be a might be that it's trying to send some data. Yeah. But this would be down to experiment. Yeah, it says data and um, voltage and source voltage and uh, or power supply voltage and ground. So then uh, it seems to be that you can send data on this. Connection and they say that it should work up to like 300 meters or something. I don't really know if I believe that, but uh, interesting combo. Uh, this is supposed to be some kind of an ultrasonic sensor, I think. Let's see if we can. No, totally wrong. MQ2 gas sensor module. So that's interesting. So this is a for sensing gas. Not really sure what gas, but no. one can be wrong. Okay, this one should be easy. This one's the. Ah, I mean everybody kind of recognizes this. I think this is a temperature and humidity sensor.
Okay, next one, what do we have here? I am... No, that's the photoresistor. I wonder what that one is. Let's see. This is used for. I do recognize it. Could it be an infrared sensor? Yes, it is. It's a oh, it's a motion detector based on infrared on um, temperature sensing. Uh, I've actually had one of these. Mm. So, so on. and then we have the next one. And this is a uh, real-time clock, so that's actually rather interesting. So you can put a cell coin battery, and then it should hold very good accuracy on time. And I was actually thinking this one we could connect to our to the experiment to be able to actually have real um, a real clock, because now the, uh, the Arduino hasn't got a real-time clock, so you you don't have like yeah, date and hours and seconds and milliseconds in the in that context of being like real values. Well we might actually wait I'll just put that on the side. I think we might actually might actually want to use that in the experiment. Right, what do we got here now? Um, let's see now. Ah. This must be a photoresistor. I mean, you can see that there. It's the resistor on the end, so I think that's pretty much a given. Yeah, photoresistor. I don't know what that is. Ah, what else do we have? Okay, and then this one. I think this is a laser sensor. Now, in the KY008 laser sensor module and the issue is that it says sensor but does it actually mean that this is a transmitter because it's quite a quite a robust package so I would assume that this is actually generating a laser beam so I'm a bit unclear as to why it calls it a sensor or is there a feedback loop in this thing so th this could be needed to investigate a bit more by browsing the internet and doing some experiments. I might actually put that on the side because um, laser light would be something kind of interesting to get into. Okay, now we're getting into more difficult stuff. Let's take the easiest one first, this one, because this is a microphone. So that's not really that difficult to distinguish. Uh, let's see what it says that it's called. Sound sensor module? So is it only... So it's, uh, no, I think it's trying to... I did leave the trigger on a sound level and get a 1-0 signal, or then it's actually trying to send the um, amplified uh, microphone signal out. But it's also got an op amp in it, so I'm assuming there might be that you get the you actually get a microphone and a small amplifier. Okay, what else do we have here? Now it's getting difficult. Let's see here. Now, since it's got two diodes in it. Good question. Hmm. 
I don't know what that is. Right now. Probably have to come back to that one. Looks like it's got two diodes in it and I'm gonna adjust them up potentially. And no, I'm trying to look under, I've got a, a, a magnifying glass here, I'm trying to see if I can see anything. Well, it does say infrared out. Then you would assume that there's a receiver and a sender. So this should be some kind of an infrared module. It's a bit unclear what this is. Obstacle avoidance sensor module. No, that's the other one. It has something called a one channel TCR T5000 tracing module. But there's no codes on this actual card. Well, I think I have to give up and leave that for a later date. And what is this? Ah, this is a tilt sensor. You can hear it when you move it, that there's a little ball inside there. So that we debug. Okay, next one. It's a bit tricky when they have only these. Ah, here we have a double diode system again. It's the same op amp. There's too many of them, they're not very well identified. VCC ground out. Well, that's very helpful. Would be easy because I do have the list from the vendor of what modules are included, but this is it's actually not that easy to um, tell exactly what is what. to say I don't really know what this one is. This one with the black one and so if somebody knows then we of course yeah add to the comments if anybody knows what these are. I can probably find it out by searching on the internet. Okay, what do we have here then? They put any markings on the same modules and so. This might be a tracing module. Or a flame sensor module. No idea. 
Okay, last one in the list. I don't know if I really did that much better this time looking at these sensors without actually spending a heap of time on the internet trying to find out extra information. But this is at least a clear lens. So this might be the flame detector then. That's pretty much it now. That sucks. I thought I could have done much better this time. I even had the list from the vendor of what they included. I thought I could have been better at identifying what is what. But it didn't turn out to be that much easier. For all the modules at least. doesn't even exist on this list. Hmm. Probably have to look up component codes on the internet as far as I can find them. Oh, I think we called it a day. I'll have to maybe return later the details on those. I kept them separate, the ones that I didn't really recognize. <coughs> so maybe I'll have to come back and make a patch up video to um, say what these are. Because it kind of, not so fun, but I thought I even had the, the list of um, modules that were provided, but really I can't even. Even based on that, it's hard. I suppose I could make like an exclusion list, like cross-checking which modules I haven't actually identified, and then I could probably. But then I don't want to do that in this video. It would take too long. Anyway, I think we call it a day for this one. <laughs>